Hi guys, craft haul time. Oh well, um, Aldi. <laughs> it the the event's probably finished now. It was last week. Uh, last week, like the beginning of October time. So, yeah, <laughs> like I say, it was a while back. Um, actually, I don't think it was last week. It was the week before. I'm lost with the days. But yes, our local Aldi had a craft event again and of course I can't resist I went looking for more of these craft mats not the glass one the turquoise one and the pink one they didn't have any or they didn't by the time I'd got there anyway but they did have these however and of course I was drawn to the material awesome little fat bundles of fat quarters there are six is there I think, I can't remember, oh there, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, there's six in a bundle, um, and each one is 18 inch by 22 inch, which is 46 centimetres by 56 centimetres, um, yeah, I'm not going to open them up because I don't plan on using them just yet, but my, and they were 3 99 my logic was they'd make really nice journal covers now that me and the sewing machine have made friends but yeah really pretty colours um designs i mean but yeah i like that one really really like that one um don't know what that paper is there but yeah i like that i like them all and then that pretty one there so i got that one i had to have blues blue's my favorite color so of course blue just had to come into it somewhere I love that one, that, that one's kind of shouting boho, so I really do need to get round to doing that boho journal, and yeah, and then that one, so I had to have blue in there somewhere, and then I saw this one, I'm like, well, why not, let's do a Christmas one, so yeah, I got this lovely Christmas, <coughs> excuse me, this lovely Christmas fabric as well, so pretty reindeers, Christmas trees. I like that one. That is pretty. Oh, beautiful. Um, that one. The red one. And then this one. I like that one too. And it's really good material, this. Uh, it is 100% cotton. Oh yeah, it tells you they're six pack. But yeah, so they are, I think they're all cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton. So really good material and I didn't think it were too bad um, and then <laughs> I spotted this and I was like oh my gosh look at this patterned duct tape so I had to have it I just had to have it look at this I believe is that the damask pattern it says a floral ornament on there but I believe it's a damask design but how gorgeous is that black and white as well um, I have a black and white journal, theme journal, on the cards as well. And then I had to have this one because it's roses, of course. But how beautiful is that? Um, that one just says blooms. But yeah. Um, reason being for duct tape, besides using as washi tape, because, I mean, you could just slice down the middle and have it in half, the sort of thing, or just a patch of it, use it like washi tape. Um, you can bind journal, um, not bind, but kind of use duct tape when you're doing your spines on your journals. Um, <clears throat> oh, here. This is the journal that I did ages ago, and I was very impatient back then and didn't know very much about journaling. I've only just pretty much stumbled my way into the um, journaling community world. Um, <clears throat> And yeah, I reinforced the spine on mine using black, just plain black duct tape. I nicked it out at Thoudman's work toolbox. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I used, like I said, I just used black duct tape to pretty much create the spine or reinforce the spine on this. This is it was a cereal box that I covered. Um, but yeah, so that was my way of thinking with that as well. So not only could you use it as like washi tape and especially these decorative ones, you could use it 
on the outside and the inside of your spines in journals too to reinforce them a little bit so yeah so that was the logic behind them and then I just got some more black um, I got some white and I like that I love the texture of duct tape um, and then I got this one which is like a craft card stock color this is actually I didn't realize until I bought it um, it, I bought it thinking, oh, that's a nice colour, yeah, nice craft colour, that's awesome. And then when I got it home and I was looking at it properly, it's not even duct tape, it's double-sided sticky tape, <laughs> which is awesome because I actually even needed some of that. So, yeah. So, there you go. So I've got two lots of duct tape, some accidental double-sided tape, which I needed anyway, and some beautiful patterned duct tape as well. And there you go, I didn't get the mats because, like I said, they didn't have any in this time or by the time I got there, this, they, they'd sold out. But I didn't see anything anywhere saying they would even had them in. Normally you can see the tags on the shelves to say what they've had in, but they didn't. They didn't have, didn't say they'd had them in, so... Oh, uh, well, never mind. But yeah, so there's my little Aldi haul, Aldi craft event haul so for october um yeah fingers crossed they do another one soon where they get some more of these mats in but yeah so there you go guys i just thought i'd pop on and share and i have other videos to be getting on with I've, i'm on a video binge today um trying to get ahead but yeah so there you go guys there's my latest craft haul video and thanks for watching and i will see you again soon Bye.